Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Afti, back with a brand new video. A video I wasn't thinking I was going to do, but I decided to go ahead with it because, obviously, I have a lot of people in this channel and a lot of people that support me, and I kind of want to get down to everything that kind of went to ha happen last year. And, yes, basically, I'm no longer on Seattle Surge, and they released me. And we're going to be doing things a little bit different. We're going to be playing some Warzone and basically doing a live hom uh, versus, you know, playing pubs or, you know, just playing multiplayer in general. So we're going to do doing a little bit different this time and it's gonna be interesting to say the least because i'm probably dead here just like that baby that's how we do it out here baby you already know the apathy vibes so if you guys didn't know before we continue with the video yes i've been grinding a lot of warzone and i actually been streaming it every single day uh, mainly at night, but sometimes in the morning you can catch me at twitch.tv slash apathy. So today we're going to be doing it a little different. Like I said, we're going to be playing some Warzone, doing a live calm, and I'm going to do my best to provide some good gameplay, but while talking about things and kind of going in depth. So yes, I was basically released from Seattle Surge. I'm no longer part of Seattle. Um, they decided to go ahead and, uh, you know, go through with that. And I don't really blame them for it because, you know, I understand the situation. You know, we were a team that were supposed to do really well. And everything fell apart over time. And I really want to go a little bit in depth with all of that without really, you know, um, without really coming at anyone or, you know, making uh, feel like I'm attacking anybody. I'm just going to speak the truth and kind of put things as nice as possible because at the end of the day, um, I do still have respect and, you know, love for a lot of these players. So see you later. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously i was supposed to join some of you guys might not know this i was supposed to join florida and uh seattle came last minute to me and they're like hey this is going to be a team we have this you know really good talented and uh experienced team oh i forgot you could do that superman style and we want you to join because i think they're one player they're supposed to pick up kind of fell through and you know on paper i saw this team and i was like you know what heck yes like i will join this team i'm down like just get me on this team and you know we're gonna be nasty and you know at first it went okay uh as soon as scrim started you know we we're doing well off like the you know there wasn't really much strategy there wasn't really much every, any anything but uh we did okay and then over time we started to kind of fall apart um i felt like we we're, were kind of complaining about the game we we're kind of behind and it just didn't seem like you know we were looking good at all and that's our fault because at the end of the day like you could have a talented team you could have talented experienced players but if the team is not working hard or the players aren't working hard to be a better player or a better team you're not really going to get anywhere so basically um what happened was uh we're looking a little iffy we went to the first tournament which was minnesota the opening weekend and i uh, think really went really poorly what a heartbeat hold up let me let me let me let me let me clean this kid up real quick 420 zero snipe oh, okay where are you, buddy? I've seen you. Hello. <laughs> but basically, uh, it didn't go well for us at all. Uh, we definitely underperformed. Some of uh, some players on the team, like I think Enable and maybe Slack. I don't remember, but they didn't have a good uh, showcasing at all. So off the bat, we're already starting off kind of iffy. And then basically what we did, uh, we decided to keep the same team going into, uh, into London, I believe. Obviously, start of the year, you know, we're still working things out. Um, again, practice was pretty bad. Um, I felt like our quality of practice was just horrible. The effort wasn't always all there. Um, people were just complaining about the game. And I, I really try to, you know, put my best foot forward and really focus on... You know, the competitive aspect and just trying to be a better player, trying to learn the game, even though the game at the time, um, it basically was the same going into the next couple of months. They just changed very little things. Um, players are really hoping, like, that they wouldn't, you know, fix the spawns and, you know, do a whole bunch of things that weren't really ever promised. And basically, we got behind. And then going into London, I think Ian and Abel also had a very poor event once again. But I think the part where, you know him kind of getting benched um and he he can admit this himself but like i think it was more so the fact that he just wasn't putting the same effort and 
I understand, like maybe we some like some players on the team were giving that vibe sometimes. Like I said, like people didn't like the game, they weren't trying that hard sometimes. But at the end of the day, like it just you know everyone needs to be trying their best, right? Like there shouldn't be like a thing where someone's trying harder than the other person. You know, it's a team game. Everyone needs to be playing their best. Like we should, we need if we want to be the best. See you later, Stepper. You remember me, the buddy that you killed? Woo! So basically, after London, after two uh, really bad, I think, performances from Enable, Ian, um, and uh, basically, you know, after his, like, his effort, like, like I said, some players on the team were putting more effort than others, and I think he was kind of just going with the vibe, but um, he definitely, like, was one of those players. And I think, like, you know, with his performance and him just kind of being like that, um, I thought it was going to be a person. I was about to shoot that hydrant. Um, Sam brought it up after we lost. Like, dude, like, he's playing so bad. Like, we need to we need to bench him. Like, it's just unacceptable. And I remember going to that London tournament. Like, I worked, uh, you know, because at the start of the game, I, was, I wasn't looking the best. But I worked really, really hard uh, to be a better player. And I grinded and... I was looking really good or a lot better at least so you know i was very very upset with his performance and i was very upset with the uh, with the effort he was putting in so of course you know i agreed with sam and i think other players on the team kind of agreed at the time and in hindsight maybe it wasn't the best decision you know maybe we kind of jumped the wagon um i think in the end of the day like it's a team game and you know you're playing a team a team game you're playing you gotta act like a team and not like we're against each other like i think and he i think he brought something up like that once but you know you you expect him to do his job you expect people to do their job but at the end of the day like we could have stepped in and been like hey Ian, you know you're slacking a bit like we think i think you need to grind the game grind the game more i think you need to put a little more effort like you're obviously not performing well and that's that's only on us right like we could have been like at the end of the day like we're a team oh my god i'm shooting tractors i'm too twisted right now Yeah, you're not catching me with that, brother. See you later, alligator. I'm a big believer. A team will succeed when it's when the team acts like a team. When they're against each other, when there's no trust, um, there's a higher chance the team will fail. So, you know, I think at the end of the day, like, yes, he should be, he should have been doing his job. He should have been grinding, whatever the case is. But I think as teammates and as equal, we should have been like, hey, you, you know, I think you should be grinding more. I think you need to put in more time. And I felt like we never really said anything to him. We just kind of let it rock. He was performing bad, and then we kind of chalked it, right? So it kind of it kind of ended up going that way. He got benched. Um, like I said, we we decided to go with Pander. Uh, we just you know did it. He was basically the only person we decided to sub in a player, and we went with Pander. And I think Pander, by the way, is a great player. He has a great attitude. He has a great mentality. I really enjoyed playing with him with the time I did. I think he deserves to be. And a top challenger team if not on an actual pro team and you know i hope he definitely gets an opportunity this, uh this year to this year to do something because a lot of people are missing you know he brings a lot to the table but aside from that um you know it does kind of suck like i said I, you know i wasn't i was really unsure if we should have done the enable thing at first you know i was like nah but then at the you know after a lot of frustration and anger and with kind of how the year went we kind of just uh you know oh he's on this one oops Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fucking cheating. <laughs> Am I cheating? Maybe, maybe not. Of course I wouldn't be cheating. So basically, after a while, um, you know, after everything, you know, we just kind of went with it. guy scared me man why are you scaring me like that buddy so basically fast forward in his bench we get uh we get casey pander and originally uh with panda on the team practice was really well um you know it kind of started off well everyone was going hard and it slowly started to dwindle back to kind of how we were practicing which was just horrible bad quality practice and that is the reason why we struggled and why we kind of sucked as a team um, it was a chain reaction, you know, with Damon Karma. Um, he was, I guess he just wasn't maybe um, having fun on MW. He wasn't fond of the team, whatever the case is. 
And Damon will basically kind of like get on late, uh, give minimal effort, maybe get frustrated with the team that we're doing things wrong and just not try. And it's chain reaction. Slack will get angry and not try. And then, you know, then I'll be the third man in line. I'll be like, all right, bro, two of my teammates are not trying. Like, I'm done dealing with this. Like, what's the point of even me going hard, you know, at that at that point? So practice was pretty bad all year, guys. And I think I can say this confidently. If this goes for any pro team or any team that has had success, practice is one of the most important things when it comes to being a really good team. It's very, 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 very crucial and very important. And that's how teams get really good. And that's why, in my opinion, a player like Krim, um, he doesn't really tolerate any of this. Like, I talked to him. I talked to Doug about about this. Like, the reason Krim is so successful is because he puts in 110% and he is holds his whole team accountable. If someone's not trying, if someone's not going as hard, you know, he will hold them accountable. He's, he expects nothing less but, you know, but 110% or 100% effort. What do you want to say? So when a team is, you know, slacking, you can say, oh, I kind of find this guy's lurking. When a team is sort of slacking, you know, that's <laughs> no, not slack though, slacking. Um, yeah, they're gonna perform worse. And like, like, yeah, we had the talent, we had good players on paper, but like one of the, the most popular saying, talent, wait, sorry, 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 sorry. Let me kill this kid real quick. What I was saying is hard work beat ta beats talent. Dude, they just keep coming. I gotta kill this kid too. Ah, there's the kill. But like I was saying, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And that is one of the most realist things ever. Like that that quote is so true. And I've said it so much, <laughs> so many times in my career, man. You you do not understand. So, well, yeah, that that is a big part of the reason why we sucked. And it's not like, oh, you just you have players that are washed or players that should be doing good, like you know, you guys are just washed or you suck, bro. It's just, it's effort. It's practice. It's caring, you know? And if you don't have that, then yes, you are going to suck. No matter who you are. If, if Krim, if Krim puts 50% in practice in scrims for a month, a pl most players and teams are going to be better than him. But like, there's a reason why he's usually successful or a top player or a top team at a top team all year is because he doesn't like do that so fast forward a little bit a little bit more after that uh karma ends up retiring um he just he was not happy um basically what happened to give you a little bit of a breakdown i don't want to go too in depth with it but basically we were supposed to pick up saints uh for i think enable and uh basically that never went through so it was supposed to be me karma octane slacked and saints so that would have been actually a very 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 uh i think solid team mode had a lot of slain power it definitely could have worked out pretty well but basically that ends up not happening oh this guy's so one shot oh he is he is literally oh no this is actually gonna get me killed oh my god this is how i die because i couldn't finish that one kid inside so to continue uh where i left off we were supposed to pick up saints uh the org wasn't able to get them for some reason i don't know i don't really don't want to go into details because that's not my problem or that's not really my business but they weren't able to get them and they are uh damon didn't really want to play anymore without saints he was kind of lost full and damon wanted to run main ar but we have octane you know it was just like too many conflicts too many problems and at the end of the day, I think Damon was just burnt out. He was tired of competing. And with all these issues occurring and everything, he was just like, I'm just going to retire. So we had one of the best GOATs, one of the best players of all time, uh, basically retire at the end of the season for us, which is no bueno at all. Damn, he's going to jump out. Nice! So that was uh, another dagger in the back. Uh, we ended up playing with Proto because he was our other substitute. And we weren't able to get another player. But I did like playing with Proto. Another guy who just put in effort, really tried and cared. And really, you know, try to do their best every day. And that's all you can really ask for a player at the end of the day. So Karma retires. Another dagger, essentially. And at that point, you know, the year is going to be difficult. We still grind out the last two months of the game. Uh, we try to improve. Uh, we definitely put in a lot more effort and the practice and the quality of practice does improve because like I said, we have Pan and Proto who really care to try to get better. 
Uh, Jerry and I, Slack, uh, always really cared, and we tried our hardest to get better most of the time. And then Octane, obviously, was just always trying. So, uh, practice went better, but at this point, it was just, we're, we were just late. Like, we were late. We were behind. Um, even then, some days practice didn't go the best, but for the most part, it was a whole different story. But I think the biggest thing is we were just too late, and it just didn't work out as well as, you know, it could have. So, it was kind of fortunate how everything kind of just went down, but... So, we ended up getting, uh, basically the last at champs. Choked two maps versus Paris, got 3 would Uh, we were in losers, which I guess somewhat demoralizing to the team to begin with. Wow. Good try, brother. I do want to apologize to all the Seattle fans and to everyone who... No! To everyone who, you know, really cared about the team and, you know, supported me because it was just unacceptable. It was uh, unacceptable. The the practice we had, you know, was unacceptable. The the performances, the the placings is just... It is unacceptable. I, I hold myself as a high standard. And I so do I hold my team as a high standard, and unfortunately we just did not execute or you know really did what we were supposed to do. So that's where the dagger lies. And you know going to four v four, and you know we have a one plus one contract. Uh, pretty much almost every player does. So basically they can choose to extend me or release me, or like basically extend me, pay me the same a high salary or release me. And you know they decided to keep Octane and release all of us. So we were basically all free, and they weren't really interested in keeping any of us to begin with. I felt like I played pretty well for the most part all year. Could I have played better? Yes. Um, I think if, you know, we actually had better quality practice and the environment was great, I think we would have done a lot better. But it is what it is. It's in the past. Um, I really don't have beef with anyone. Like, I think we all just have a little bit of anger maybe towards each other after this shit year. And we all kind of like maybe have some resentment. I don't know what the case is, but I don't really have beef with anyone. Like, uh, you know, I'm, I, I like all the guys. I like... I like Proto, I like Damon, I like Ian, I like uh, Sam, I like uh, Pander. You know, I like everyone on the team. I'm so cool with them outside the game. Like, I don't have beef with them. I don't, you know, I'm not upset. You know, I understand the situation. I understand if you don't want to play with me after that year, I probably wouldn't have w really want to play with anyone else. Would I would have liked the opportunity or the chance to stay on Seattle? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I really like Seattle. I like the team. I like the org. Uh, it would be not, it would have been pretty cool to be able to stay there and, you know, keep uh, representing Seattle and, you know, change things up a bit and actually uh, bring home and maybe a chip and, you know, better performances. But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, I'm trying to figure out my next move. Obviously, with 44, it's spots are tight and I'm doing my best to uh, join a team because I want to keep competing. I'm so driven. And I do want to say shout out again to again to you guys, especially the people who really support me, support the app pack, the app fam that really care about me, and, you know, show love to me even through the hard times. So I know this video was a little bit longer than my usual videos. I'm planning to try to upload more Warzone videos in the near future because that's what I'm really going to be uh, grinding. And I feel like it's just the best content that I think you guys would enjoy and I would enjoy like making. So guys, before, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. And like I'd always say, man, check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash apathy. I'm live every day, either early in the morning or at night. I've been doing night streams, but I might transition to some more morning streams. So catch me there. You know, just watch the stream, follow the stream, just be there, chat. You know, you want have any questions, I'll answer them. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for everything, guys. And uh, hope you all have a great, amazing day. Peace out.